Opinion pieces. Hey, we haven't talked about that one in a hot minute, have we? Let's face it, y'all. A sizable chunk of opinion pieces are pretty much the herpes of YouTube. They're unwanted, they run rampant, they're never gonna go away. You should always vie on the side of protection when you run the risk of being around a nasty one, and if you do happen to get near a nasty one, you're probably gonna walk away with cold sores. Now, that's not to say that all opinion pieces are a social disease, pun intended, on YouTube. A lot of them are positive opinions, a lot of them are constructive opinions, um, and a lot of them you also want to just dropkick into the Gulf of Mexico at low tide, or some destructive variant of that. But anyway, what differentiates a good opinion piece from a wet fart in the shower opinion piece? Well, now fortunately for y'all, I found a good YouTuber that actually encompasses the good part of it, and at least in my opinion, and I'm talking about the one and only Nerd City. Um, now, Nerd City has been around for over a year now from what I've gathered on my research. Um, I actually first found out about him through um, when I was watching Boy in a Band's uh, channel. He was talking about Prince E. Now, if you're blessed enough not to know who Prince E is, he was a rapper turned into a horrible excuse of a motivational speaker. And chances are I'm going to get a DMCA strike on my channel just for mentioning that because he takes negative criticism worse than the Cristiano brothers. Yes, I went there. But I digress. Um, when I was watching Boy in a Band um, talking about Prince E, on the right side of the screen where it's like, if you like this, recommended pieces, it's Nerd City's um, bit on Prince E reacting to his haters. And if it's anything like Boy in a Band's, I really wanted to check it out. So I watched it and I was hooked from the get-go. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit more. Now, um... From what I've gathered on Nerd City, it started out with some kind of sketch vignettes, comedy, that kind of thing like Ask the Devil, The Devil Says This. But over the recent times, I would say probably seven, eight months, according to when his videos have posted, um, it's gone more into opinion pieces on some of the more fringier sides of YouTube. Um, obviously, he's done a couple of bits on Prince E., and he's also done a couple of bits on the um, shit stain of YouTube known as Daddy05. And he's also done one or two other ones based on other things that he finds very funky. Um, I find Nerd City and the mysterious Dr. Downvote, and who is the mad scientist talking about more of the um, opinion pieces, I find it very well done. And here's the main reason why I think he is a good opinion piece writer and content creator. He backs up his claims with sources and research. If you have an opinion on something, think of it like you're writing a paper. You have your thesis. You talk about why you're siding with this or siding against it. And then you have your supporting paragraphs to talk about why you think this. And Nerd City and Dr. Downvote do that to a T. Um, I don't want to just talk, rely entirely on Prince E, even though I think that Nerd City was completely spot on on his bit to Prince E, and it was also, of course, the responding to my haters. I'm just going to talk about different bits and whatnot. Um, now, if he's giving an opinion on something, he is going to actually have clips from you, those YouTubers that he is talking about, i.e. Prince E, um, Daddy05, and whoever else, of them talking about the back of his clip. So if he's talking about, for example, clickbaiting, he's going to show clips from those YouTubers talking, uh, basically exemplifying their need to be clickbaity. He'll have posts from social media like Facebook. Um, big example is, once again, Prince E. He actually shows X amount of days and the number of clickbaiting posts on that particular Facebook page to try and encourage growth on YouTube. He's done video clips from those pieces to show, like in Daddy05, saying that, you know, they're monsters, and I agree. Uh, Daddy05 is a complete, you know, diarrhea stain on the wall that needs to be taken out back and beaten with a hose, but that's beside the point. He will show those clips of the kids getting beaten, of the kids being abused. If he's talking about somebody else, he's going to show all those things to back up why he thinks such things, or he'll talk about news articles. He's done clips from Philip DeFranco and from Boogie2988 to kind of exemplify what he's driving home. And you don't have to agree with his opinion on it, but 
to show the amount of in-depth research that Nerd City and Dr. Downvote have done to back up their claims shows that he has done the math, that he has done the research to do it. And while I agree with all the things he's talked about, it just drives the point home, in my opinion, that it's done that. And that's not to say that Dr. Downvote and Nerd City are just gloom and doom and say, well, this person's stupid, this person is abusive, this person's just a completely moron who needs to stuff, you know, stop huffing paint fumes. He has quite a bit of comedy in there. It's a very dry and abrasive comedy, but it is comedic. And it, he works it into his videos while he does it. So that's not just to say he's focused on one thing. He wants to kind of show you that he does have a sense of humor, that he's willing to make pot shots and maybe take them down a peg. But it's not just dick and fart jokes. It's, you know, I can't really go into too much example on it just because you have to go check it out for yourself. I think it's fascinating. I think it's hilarious in a lot of stuff he does that he focuses on. He does little sound effects. He'll do little special effects and whatnot just to kind of make it cutesy. So if somebody's being overly serious, like, for example, Daddy05 um, or Prince E, he'll do these colorful little hearts and, you know, sound effects to make it sound like everything is right in the world just to really throw in and take them down a peg and make the crowd laugh, make the viewers grin a little bit. Now, maybe I'm not doing Nerd City justice. Maybe I'm not going into enough detail on that. Maybe you want to have somebody just rant and rave for five to ten minutes straight saying, you know, my opinion matters, I'm not going to talk about why, I'm going to you know, cite faulty source, I'm just going to lead you down the path, garden path. Maybe that's your thing. And if that is your thing, you should probably stop watching this. Because I, for one, want to see what somebody has done to back up their claim to say, this is why I like this person, this is why this person sucks, this is why Boogie Knight is a complete moron sitting on his couch just talking into a phone talking about why he likes Dr. Downvote. But personally, if you want to see somebody go in-depth and talk about something that, whether you, not, you agree with them, like I said, you have to respect that. And you have to understand that it takes a lot of effort to go into a 10 to 15 minute long piece to talk about something fringy, or it doesn't even have to be fringy. It could be pop culture related. It could be like, it could be news related. You could find it on the Washington Post or the Orlando Sentinel or CNN or Fox News or whatever. Having those hard earned facts and having to be able to keep an open mind about it and still being able to joke with people make that opinion piece valuable. Once again, this is all my opinion. But you should really go check out his channel. I will put a link in the description below to his YouTube channel and to his Twitter page. So take a few minutes out of your day to check it out for yourself. He, he's he got, I'll probably say a little about a dozen videos. And if you don't like his opinion pieces, check out his older stuff like Ask the Devil. Those are pretty funny too. But anyway, hope you guys like this piece. Let me know what your feedback is. Once again, YouTuber Spotlight is still pretty much in its infancy stages, but I want to keep going at it. But with that being said, y'all have a wonderful evening, and I'll catch you on the flip side, all right? Peace.